Yo, what up? What's going on, Creative Warrior? I'm so excited to be with you today. I'm gonna be talking for about 15 minutes. Oh, make that about 12 minutes. I have a call coming up, and I am so excited to just give you some sweet, straight wisdom here. So for those of you watching on the replay, go ahead and hashtag replay me um, so that I know that you're watching. What's up, Karen? Good to see you, girl. And uh, just in general, guys, that you can hear me. So if you're tuning in, type in where you're coming in from. I love knowing who's on here. I love being able to connect with you guys. So tell me where you're coming in from. Uh, I've, heard, I've even heard I'm coming in from my, my office. Um, what is going on, Susie? Good to see you as well. This is awesome, guys. I love it. So, guys, I am really freaking excited because I'm going to be sharing something today that is the what I would consider the three most important steps in creating sustainable high performance. So if you're a coach, if you're an internet marketer, if you're any kind of service-based, online service-based provider in any way, it's so incredibly important that you are living a high performance lifestyle because the demands that are on you as a high performer, high achiever are tremendous. And so it's so incredibly important to be able to be functioning at your highest at all times, right? Which is, I think that's what we're dealing with y'all is like, that is really what becomes um, some of the hardest things about being an entrepreneur is this feeling of pressure that we feel all the time to be functioning at our highest and our best. And here's the interesting thing though, is that it comes at us from an outside source. We feel like we feel that pressure from others, right? And we feel that guilt of not working uh, if we're not. And what's important is that we start to shift that from an outside perspective to an internal perspective of, I just want to be on all the time and not on in the entertainer sense or like, I got to perform, but on in the sense that I want to be firing on all cylinders just because I want to, because I want to be giving my best to everyone that I'm coming into contact with. So Today, I want to talk about the three steps to sustainable high performance. So I'm super excited to be here with you guys. Let's dive in, y'all, shall we? So here's the first step, guys. So well, let me let me first say this is when high performance coaches teach like just take massive action, right? Like lots of coaches teach that the massive action, like let's just go hard all the time. They're missing like a third of the equation. Right? That's why I'm saying that there's three steps. They usually go from awareness to massive action, right? And 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 I love kind of joking about it because I think that it's it's very prevalent across all high performance culture is this this idea of like let's just uh let's just have you get the the mental awareness and then just take this crazy manic action um which is missing an entire component which is the body, which is the nervous system, which is the heart, whatever you, you know, I mean, some of you guys maybe talk a little bit more flowery than others. I look at it as the nervous system or the unconscious mind. Um, but I know a lot of people are like the heart too, right? It's got, you got to line up the head, the heart and the hands, right? And that's, that's true alignment. And so that's what I'm excited about. What's going on, Joseph? Good to see you, brother. So what is exciting here about these three steps is, is really more than anything, what we want to start to build is internal clarity. And what's up, Peter? Good to see you, man. And over time, certainty, right? Certainty, like a visceral certainty. What's up, Nikki Jade? Good to see you, girl. So, which ultimately leads to supportive boundaries and agreements, right? With other people, right? But we have to first start with these three steps. So beginning with awareness, right? We need to slow down enough to start to get awareness, right? And and that's great, right? Like you can go to a Tony Robbins convention, you can read a book, you can listen to a podcast, you can do anything and everything under the sun. In fact, you probably get awarenesses every day, all day, and they're just fl like flying at you all the time. And so what's important for you is not that you're just getting awareness, but then you're then shifting to the second step, which is acceptance. 
acceptance. And Nikki Jade knows exactly what I'm talking about because this is a lot of the work that she does as well in her work. But acceptance is so vitally important in being able to make any kind of behavior change, any kind of shift in our lifestyle, is that we need to, whether it's an emotion or it's a thought pattern that's lying dormant outside of our conscious thought, we need to spend time with that piece of us, acknowledging it, honoring it, and the role that it's played in our life so that it can then move on. And this is in fact what people talk about when they talk about just surrender, just surrender. It's it's actually this concept of instead, it's like, okay, yeah, like I fully embrace that this is how it's been. And sometimes it just absolutely sucks. And like sometimes it's like, man, this is the worst thing ever. But what ends up happening is a lot of us actually fight against it, right? And that is the high performance culture that we're wanting to shift away from because that high performance culture is the one that leads to burnout. The one where we grind and we hustle and we're just going, going, going and like my fourth cup of coffee. It's because we're actually, instead of working with the body and being in right relationship with our unconscious mind, conscious and unconscious, we're actually fighting against our unconscious body and mind, which is telling us, I need to slow down. I need to relax. I need to like, I need to go outside and play with my dog. I need to like go in the grass and just get my feet wet, you know, like whatever it is. But that is the body talking to you, right? And so acceptance comes in the form of really taking stock of what's going on and actually coming to right relationship again with your unconscious, AKA your body, asking it questions, thanking it. And the last one, guys, is that as you move through acceptance, you move on the other side to inspired action, which is very, very real as you get your head, your heart, your body, your mind, head, heart, and hands on the same plane, you have inspired action. So it's got to go from the head to the heart to the hands. And that is how you have sustainable high performance, y'all. Um, and inspired agreements, inspired boundaries, inspired action is really what comes out of that acceptance phase. And again, that's the hard part. It's going through the heart, going through the body, not just bypassing it with the mind and going straight to the hands, right? So what's up, Shannon? Good to see you, girl. So this is what's so vi valuable and so important. This is embodiment. It means that you're able to feel the feelings, to feel the sensations and signals happening in your body all the time and gain awareness of what's occurring and interpreting those signals, right? That, that is awareness, acceptance, inspired action. That is how you get sustainable high performance. So those of you that are burnt out, that are overwhelmed, the reason that is, is because you are missing a component. You're using your head, you're using your hands, you're not using your nervous system, your unconscious mind. And this is, for anybody trying to perform today in society as a high performer, it's more important than ever to be on your alignment game because otherwise you're just gonna get swallowed up by everybody else who's out there doing this stuff unless you are connected to yourself first and foremost so that you can then build a prosperous life from being connected to yourself first and foremost so then you can connect to other people. So with that being said, July 2nd, next Monday, I am beginning the journey with 10 incredible individuals and I want you to be one of them. Creative Warrior Collective. It's a six-month program. It's a six-month salon a mastermind where we're going to be training every single month in different aspects of sustainable high performance and truly creating a lifestyle, a practice, and a process for you to build the life that you've always wanted in your business, in your relationships, in your life. So if that seems exciting, which is happening on Monday, uh, is when we get started, I just want to say thank you first off, and I can't wait to talk to you. So shoot me a message. I got to jump on my phone call in like a minute here, but I just want to come at you quick with this live today. Sending you guys big, big hugs, big, big peace. And I'll talk to y'all really soon. Have an incredible rest of your day. Peace.